Soul Silver, and today I'm going to show you how to create a chess shop using three different plugins. Economy for the money, chess shop for the buying and selling, and lock it to lock your chest. The first thing I'm going to start out doing is placing my chest and locking it. Now, to lock a chest is you just hold a sign in your hand and you click the chest, the front of the chest, um, and it locks it, it puts your name in it, and puts pride in it, now only I can get into the chest. Um, I'm going to place a sign above it. Now this, now the first line of the sign is going to be devoted to who it is who's selling. And in this case it's me, so I'm going to put in Soul Silver, which is my account name. The next line is going to be devoted to quantity. How much? How much um, the quantity is. So I'm going to put in 20 as an uh, example. The next line is going to be buying, selling, or both buying and selling. I'm going to show you how to do it both, um, all three ways. If you just want players to buy from you, you would put a B and then how much. If you just want players to sell to you, you would do an S and then how much. For example, I put in 2, just like the example in the other one, I put 10. This price varies to whatever you think is fair. If you want players to both buy and sell from you, uh, buy from you, sell to you, then you would put a B, the price, in this case 10, colon, S, the price, in that case, 2. So now if players click on the sign, they will buy something for $10. If they right-click on the sign, they will sell something for $2, in this case. I like to have players both buy and sell from me, so I'm going to keep it like that. Now, the last line is going to be devoted to what it is you are selling. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can either put in the actual name of the item, and this gets a little finicky if you don't spell something right or if you don't have the correct name, it will bounce off and say can't find it. It gets incredibly frustrating. So I like to use item IDs. Now I get my item IDs uh, one of two ways. I have a website uh, that I go to and there's going to be a link in the description. Or I use the Too Many Items mod. Um, and this is very incredibly helpful. I love Too Many Items. Fantastic. So um, I like to use, like I said, I like to use the item IDs. They're just more efficient and they're more accurate. So I'm going to put in the item ID of what I want to sell, which is 2, which I know is grass block, or in this case it's actually called grass, and then I'm going to click done. And as you can see, it converted it, it converted the item ID to what it is, which is grass. And then it also pops something up in the description saying shop successfully created. So now my shop is successfully created. Now you can do, you can do some fun stuff. You can add a sign, um, a, 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 <laughs> a little sign. I, I find that a lot of read, um, players don't like to read what it is. They just want to look at the pictures. <laughs> so I also like to put a little thing in there if you want to get all fancy. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot something that's really important. You have to make sure that if you have a buy sign on here, you have to make sure there's stuff in the chest. That is really important. There has to be stuff in the chest um, for players to buy from. Um, if the selling, you have to make sure if you want, if you want players to sell to you, you have to make sure that there's room for players to sell to you as well. So that's a really important piece. I almost forgot. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I hope this was, um, helpful. Please comment and subscribe. Um, really appreciate it. Thank you.